Hi folks, we're going to take a look at uh, page 254, number 8b. So they give us this trinomial here, but the um, coefficient of x is unknown. And they want us to determine values of b so that this expression is a perfect square. So first of all, let's remember what a perfect, uh, perfect square looks like. Okay, so if I have a plus b, okay, and I square it. So remember, I square the first, I square the last, and then it's twice the product of first and last. Okay, so in order for something to factor into a perfect square, I need the first term and the last term to be a perfect square. So this is only gonna work if the first and last term are perfect squares. And I notice that they are. Now, how do I know that? Because I can write 4x squared. Can I write it as some expression squared? Yeah, that's equal to 2x squared, okay? Same thing with 25. 25 is a perfect square, okay? So here, in order for this to be a perfect square, I need the middle term to be twice the product of first and last. So 2x times 5, okay? So in other words, what does this simplify to? The middle term has to be equal to 20x, okay? So b equals 20 is an answer that would make this whole thing a perfect square. Now, this is where you have to be careful because there's actually a second answer. 5 squared is not the only thing that gives you positive 25. Negative 5 squared would also work. So notice if I do the same thing, okay, but use negative 5, that also gives me plus 25 is my perfect square. So if I add twice the product of first and last, I see that negative 20x would also work as the middle term. Okay, so what are my final answers? We have that b can be equal to plus or minus 20. So there's actually two possible answers. Now notice here how I actually wrote everything out. Eventually, as you start becoming more comfortable with some of these uh, perfect uh, squares, or in particular these special factorizations, you can probably do this in your head. Okay, but the main thing here is that in order for something to factor to a perfect square, it has to fit this model here. First term, square the first, square the last, and two times the product of first and last. In this case here, first and last are 2x and 5, or in the second uh, possibility, 2x and negative 5. Okay, that's it for this one.